everyone, Kim here, Abundant Life Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. We are doing a monthly faves, looking back at July, or month in review. And this is where I share with you like the decks that stood out to me that I was loving, an oracle and a tarot deck, or two, <laughs> or three or four. And um, I also share other goodies that came to me or that I was really loving this month so it's just really a catch-up and as I do that I share with you what's been going on with me during July so if you are curious as to what I was working with and loving on or what I've been going through for the month of July stay tuned let's get into it may know or don't know that I offer mentorship whether you're wanting to learn how to read the cards or maybe you're seasoned and you're ready to go professional starting your own uh, tarot reading business whether it's virtual online you know type of readings or in person or the hotlines or maybe you're just wanting to tap back into your spirituality. You need some personal coaching and mentorship. You can work with me. I offer an array of one-on-one -on -one and small group services through my Kofi membership. And there's something for everyone. And I make sure that I keep the cost as economical as possible for my members. You can start and stop anytime. If you want to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, I am opening up my higher tiers for the month of August, August 1st, 2024 to August 31st, 2024. I have closed that those two tiers, the Rebel Soul tier, which you meet with me one-on-one -on -one every month, okay, plus the group meetings that we do. Or you could do Cosmic Seer, which means up every other month plus the group meetings. That had been closed for a while because I work with just a handful of folks. And then I don't want to overwhelm myself. So then I close it. But I'm opening it up to you know see if there's one or two folks who want to work with me. If you don't if you're not really called to do meetings, you know, face-to-face -face Zoom meetings. I do offer like video series you can tap into to deepen your understanding of cards or going pro as a reader. There's always something going up in my Kofi shop, on my Kofi services tab, and in my membership. So just wanted to drop this in, speak a little bit more about it, let you know that I have opened the doors for the one-on-one -on -one tiers. And then they'll be closed for a while after August 31st. So check it out. There may be something here for you. Many of you are like, I want to learn the cards. I want to learn how to do cards this way. I'm ready to get on the hotlines. Or I want to read professionally. Where do I begin? I got you covered. All right. Now let's get back into this video. So let's talk about some random goodies for the month of July. Now... These goodies are an ongoing goodie that's always in my spiritual hygiene. One being a staple for a long time, the other brand new, but it's by the same um, seller or creator of this lovely stuff. So let me share with you what that is. So we have La La Lab Shaman's Florida Water. I've been using this for a few years now and I found this seller on Etsy Lab Shaman and it she is you know amazing black owned in Georgia excellent customer service excellent items that she has in her shop and it the Florida water spray has always been a constant go-to for me as you all know I do readings full-time whether it is readings private clients, like virtual private clients, in-person readings or um, hotline readings, as well as the readings I do on the channel. So, or anywhere. This is amazing to have. And I'm just going to read, like, like, this is like my, 
I don't know, umpteenth bottle. I've lost count of how many bottles I've purchased of this stuff. I used to just get like the small bottle and I was like, no, I need, give me the, the full size. So Florida water. I'm sure there's tons of YouTube videos out there that can express what it's good for. But for me, how I use it is I just spray before I'm going to be going into reading sessions or if I've gone through a particularly heavy reading session after it's all wrapped up and done. I spray this on me and near my reading table. Careful not to spray on any cards. Um, and it just helps to purify helps to um, also for me going into a reading to prepare for the reading and also to close it and I just really need like appreciate it you, some readings depending on the people involved or what you're reading on can be heavier than others and call you know pull on you energetically and this helps to clear that energy in an easy way with a spray bottle and she has like a crystal like a quartz crystal at the bottom um, that's floating around and I just save it and then put it into the next bottle and like they have like a little collection you don't you do what you must or do what you want to with your crystals that are left in here but I will put a link in the description box where you can check out lab shamans shop but let me just read some excerpts from the back of the label. So it says, There are a myriad of ways to incorporate Florida water into your spiritual life. The stimulating citrus and floral scented cologne is commonly used for ritual offerings and purification. Some replace holy water with Florida water. Some use this as an insect repellent. Okay, so she gives instructions on how to work with it. Um, you can use Florida water. It will clean. So if you're using tools, certain spiritual tools, you could wipe them down and, you know, use this to help clear of any negative energy and to also be able to hear messages, she says, from the spirits and ancestors. Yeah. Also used in Bells. Florida water is used to remove heavy vibrations and to encourage the expression of emotions. When seeking guidance from ancestors, placing a glass of Florida water on your altar will clear the air of any static and interference to allow for a clear reading. Uh, when blessings and cleansing a new home, use Florida water to anoint your floors, windows, and doorways for protection, prosperity, and luck. And there's additional instructions about, you know, for and after bath, like spiritual baths. And also you can carry this. So when you wash your hands with Florida water after engaging with negative people or being in a negative environment, you know, this can help to just be like a energetic palate cleanser, like psh, gone. So I love having it and I always keep a supply of it in my on my shelf what I ended up getting from lab shaman shop is Chinese floor wash oh, my door is opening just came so it, it came and there was no leakage which is important a small cap full of this is enough to put in a bucket of water and to do floor washes with um, I do sweep, I do clean the floors. We have tile floors, so it's pretty easy to do that. But I just felt like I need to do more. And so I went on Lab Shaman's site and I found this floor wash. So I will report back of what I find um, of my experience. It's just amazing. Check out the links I'll put in the description box. But the just reading the back here, it says experience the protective cleansing magic of our Chinese floor wash, a potent blend crafted to purge negative energies and promote positivity, wealth and abundance. Dilute a capful in a small bucket or bowl of warm water and use it to cleanse items or surfaces in your home. But be mindful to avoid suede and other sensitive materials. Do not let sit on surfaces. 
ideal for spiritual baths, mopping, deep cleaning, and spot cleaning. And then she goes on with her natural ingredients we got listed here. So I'm excited about this because, you know, certain types of readings that some of us are called to do, um, do leave more of a residual um, ener energetic footprint around you. And so it's important to do cleansing. I will also link in the description box a link to my spiritual hygiene spread that I created. So you can use that, you know, spread with your Oracle or Tarot cards to sniff out if you are on top of your spiritual hygiene routine or if it needs a bit of retweaking and if, you know, what can you do for your unique spiritual hygiene routine. So there's a spread for that I created. So check out that video. I think I do my own the spread on my own situation to demonstrate how to work with it. So check it out. So these are my random goodies. I've used this for years. This is I got in early July. I haven't used it yet because we were in between big floor mop cleanings, but I'm excited to use it. I have other surfaces I want to use this on as well. So I'll report back. But this is really good so this is why i trusted what's going to be in this bottle here random goodies so you all know that i've been getting into charm casting and the creator of the alley tarot i think i'm probably not having the whole name of that tarot deck but a lot of you who are into indie decks and it's a massive deck it is popular i think it's the alley Row. The creator made this gorgeous, hold on, gorgeous charm casting fabric or whatever you want to call it. It's like velour. It's super soft. It's he it's heavyweight and it's very inexpensive. I will show you all when I switch camera angles when I'm demonstrating my faves in decks. I'll also have these out so I could show you what I got. But this I got, um, I think late June or early July, I can't remember. But it is so amazing. And I don't always, now that I'm starting casting, I don't always need um, a mat. Just like when you're doing tarot readings, you don't always need a spread to get into it. I, I just like to sometimes be free willing, but sometimes it's nice to, to have something like this. And it's reversible and it's heavy and it's nice. So I have that one. And then um, I bought this one. It's a little different, but I wanted to use this also as a casting cloth. And wherever these, you know, you can assign these swirls, if you will, some sort of like anchoring of a meaning. So it's like, okay, the outer, outer swir swirls is how distant the situation is from, you know, and then very close in the center, like this is very up close to the situation or the person that I'm casting charms for. So I've been getting into that and it's been really cool. So when I demonstrate the decks, and I'm going to do that in just a moment, um, I will do so with these on the table so you can see them all spread out. So let's do that. Let's just take a, let's just jump into the decks now. So before I move on to the decks, I wanted to show you like how lovely this is on the table. It's just so gorgeous. And this is my little significator charm. It was gifted to me several years ago, a little queen bee. And um, so we have that. And then I have like my little box of charms. I have to keep it keep my charms in plastic to prevent like 
super rust and tarnishing and whatnot. <laughs> this is my true crime one. It's got weapons and things in this one. Um, my true crime set of charms. Okay, but I did throw in a few of them in here. My massive collection. So let's just, just take a couple. Or a few. And I'm just going to cast them. No, you know. Nothing fancy. I just kind of want to show you how it looks on the table and when you're reading. So, let me see if I can zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. You have these sections, right, or houses, if you will, and whatever falls here. And maybe more emphasis on where your significator is pointing, whatever is, um, you know, pointed. Like here, this significator which represents me is focused on the future and what about the future there's a heart here and what is this a little angel okay so you can and then you assign your meanings to your charms there are some standard charm meanings like for such things like angels or other common charms you would find owls um I'm trying to think of other common unicorns, things of that nature, horses. And you you can assign your meanings or you can have you can study established meanings. It, I like the organic process of just learning my own meanings and assigning them and getting to know my charms as I do more and more readings with them. But this is so cool. Oh my goodness. And it's reversible. It's such great quality. Anywho, I wanted to show you like with the charms on it and just like, oh, see that quality right there? Oh my goodness. So yeah, now I want to get to the cards, but I wanted to let you see what I've been talking about with regards to charm casting and why I think this thing is so cool. <laughs> okay, be right back. Get into these here decks. Okay, so... Up first, let's talk about this oracle, the Mediumship Training Deck. I've mentioned this deck quite a few times now on the channel, in recent times too, like when I do readings for my subscribers and we're tapping into what are some spiritual gifts you may have to or to deepen um, your relationship with these gifts or how to strengthen them. This is a great deck, and it's by John Holland and Lauren Rainbow. And I have been using this deck in client readings as of late. I use them sometimes for myself when I'm like, okay, for my gifts, what do what do I need to focus on? Just shuffling, try not to knock everything down. They are a bit large. And some people probably would be turned off by the writing on the back, but I actually like it. And I'll show you why. It's a hay house deck. So. I had a client who mentioned that she is getting into, you know, the spiritual healing arts and this is something she hadn't really tapped into most of her adult life and she just wanted to know where to start for herself or what to do so i shuffled and pulled some cards from this deck i think i pulled just one or two i can't remember but um the message was on point like it it met her just where she where she's at in terms of what to explore and, you know, it, there was a calling for her deep down to be able to to connect more with her um, spiritual divine team, those who've crossed over her ancestors. And so there was a card that spoke right to that and where she's at. It, it was powerful. So in this instance, we got reaching out to spirit and it's got the text on the back. Really cool. I think I have a video on this deck. I'll link it in the description box down below if you want to see more about it. But um, I'm very happy I have it. And I'll just read a couple of excerpts from each of the cards. It says, communication always benefits and enhances any relationship. 
And that includes the one with spirit. Many people believe that the only time to connect with spirit is when you want to link with those on the other side. In fact, spirit, the divine source, is there for you anytime you wish. At different times throughout the day, try to stop for a few moments and reach out with your mind to spirit. It could be simply to reach out and connect to say a quick hello, or it could be a good time to ask a more specific question. You might choose to ask a question about a situation that's happening in your life, a story you saw or heard on the news or something that's happening elsewhere in the world. Equally, it could be a time that you simply seek guidance. Sometimes the response might not come right away or it might just take a little while. The answer can come in many different ways, such as a sign, a symbol, part of a dream, or even a synchronistic event. Working with spirit is very much a partnership and no matter what form of communication takes place, it's a vital part of the process. So I'll stop reading there. It's such a gorgeous card and you have the text on the back. I know some people are like, absolutely not. I don't like text on the back. I'm not one of those people. In fact, I don't care about that. <laughs> but I do know folks who get decks, they're not into it. But for me, it works. All right, so we have power of prayer. So, it, you know, we have that the power of prayer. Gorgeous card. And the wonder of colors. So you know, the energy of colors and aura work is discussed here. So you've got that. And so you have these cards. And I only usually pull one to maybe three cards. I'd like to usually keep it down to one or two because they pack so much information. And I'll show you some of the other cards so you can see what I'm talking about. So we have intuitive walking. The medium's toolbox. Power of empathy, inspirational mediumship. This is a cool one. Wills of light, so chakra alignment, creative expression, nurturing thyself, animal kingdom. Wow, soul connection. Spirit guides. Finding the stillness. We got all this text on the back. And sometimes it'll have partnership cards, which I really like. So if you happen to get, you pull one to three cards, or you pull more than one card, right? And then you get another card, like the partnership card for the finding the stillness is the breath. And then you read those in conjunction with one another to really deepen your message about how to work with the energies at this given time for yourself. I do like little check-ins periodically with this deck for myself. Like what is really standing out as my intuitive tool right now? What um, needs a rest? What needs to be exercised? What is what do I need right now as a medium, as an empath, as an intuitive reader? What do I need to support myself? And so this deck is really, really cool for this purpose of how I use it. It's a really beautiful deck, too. The images are gorgeous. Let's get grounded. So I'm going to keep going here, but yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Let me know if you have experience with this deck. What, um, what drew you to getting it? Or if you haven't gotten it yet, what draws you to it? Or what, you know, what keeps you from purchasing it? Because that's important information too. And maybe there's something myself or someone else who watches this video can chime in on to help you or answer any questions you have about it. But yeah, it's a cool deck. That is, friends, the mediumship training deck. So let's move on to the next one, which is in this little bag. I keep it in. And this is the Dark Moon Damsel Oracle. I will put a link in the description box. It's a short video, a flip through of this deck. Now you can get it on Printer Studio. 
And there is a guidebook that's a PDF that you can download. And I'll put the link in the description box for those who have this deck or contemplating getting it. You are able to get a guide. Um, there's a whole story about this this deck and the journey of it. And it almost was going to stay out of print indefinitely because the creator felt like she had moved on from the space in which she created this deck, the head and heart space. She was, she says she was in a dark space when this deck was created and she would have rather just had it go out of print, but her partner um, created the guidebook, which is now available on the website. And then I'm assuming they came to some sort of <laughs> meeting of the minds to make it available on printer studio. So you can now get it and I highly recommend it. I do. I love this card size for an oracle. And here's the card backs. Let's go through some of the cards, shall we? Illusion. Boxed in. Nourish. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Release. Really like this one. Sleep, clarity, confidence, wisdom, narrow, something just inspired me to Maybe I saw a video of it and I was like, oh, somebody mentioned it. I can't, I forgot which one of you mentioned that the dark moon damsel or is it, oh my God, my tongue tied, that this deck is actually now available on Printer Studio. So then I'm like, oh, I wonder if there's a guidebook somewhere and I found it. And, and then I started using it during like client readings, readings for myself, readings for my membership on Kofi. And I was blown away, but I coupled it with another deck, Free Flow, a tarot deck that has been delivering powerful readings. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Here's Detach. Such a cool deck. See the full flip through of this deck in the description. Or I have the link in the description box down below. But yeah, such a cool little gem of an oracle deck. And I've been loving on it. And it even goes with this beautiful charm casting cloth. <laughs> We're going to talk about tarot. So the tarot deck I want to mention is This Might, the this Might Hurt Tarot by Isabella Rotman. And this is the first edition indie version. And one of my dear subscribers got mentioned in one of the comments that she got the mass market edition. And I've been checking those videos out too for mass market ones because I go back and forth on do I want to get a backup copy or not. But so far, I've been enjoying just using the edition that I have. And gorgeous little guide book here. I started pairing this deck, this might hurt, with my Dark Moon Damsel Oracle. And the readings have just been so profound, punchy. And yet, you don't even need that many cards to get the message across it, in the color palette. It, it just works. So I wanted to show you all what I'm talking about here. Let me move these to the side. I do have an unboxing of the this might hurt so check it out we have the moon this card and now let's get a card from this one boxed in so let's just look shall we we have the moon I love it. <laughs> I love this combo so much. Boxed in the moon. Okay. And beginning. 
Hmm. Love that combo as well. Let's see what else we have. So I've been using This Might Hurt pretty much all month in client readings, readings for my membership, and readings for myself. So it's, I fell in love with this deck when I first got in and was using it all the time, hence the, the gilding on it has worn. But even after so many years, I think I got this in 2019, it's still holding up in terms of quality of the cards. There's no chipping. It's still holding up. Gilding, you can expect some wear after a while if you're using the deck often. But, yeah, I was unimpressed. Impressed with it. Always happens. But, you know, when you start getting new decks into your collection, you forget about the ones that you were falling in love with because they are now on the shelf. So it's always helpful when you all leave comments and tell me what you are, what you're working with, whether it's mass market or indie, it doesn't matter because if I have the deck or something like it, it inspired me to reconnect with those decks that I may have forgotten and that I had. Look, we have seven of wands in energy. That goes, protect your energy peeps. <laughs> Set some boundaries. Really like that. Okay. Let's see what else. Let's do a couple more combos. So it has been just like when I first was working with this deck several years ago. It The readings have just been so glorious. This is the Eight of Pentacles. And then this deck here, I didn't, I don't talk a lot about it because for so long it had been out of print and I don't always like to um, talk about decks on the channel that are out of print. Although I know in my years of experience of collecting that things that were once out of print will come into print and vice versa. It's just this, the nature of the beast of it. So it's never wrong to talk about out of print decks, right? Because it could come into print. It, become, it becomes mass market. But there are times it doesn't. And then I feel bad when you're like, hey, how can I get this deck? And I'm like, ooh, I don't think you can unless you get it third party. I mean, you could get it third party. Here we have Eight of Pentacles and Heart. His heart is in it. He's mastered what it is that he's been working on you know through study and pure perseverance and consistency steadfastness fastness right he's been putting in the work and this is the heart of his work this is the joy part part of it you I mean you're really good at what you do you can even train others and you're just in a place of joy it's not a place of like oh i can't i don't want to do this much longer I, I, I'm in my happy place. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Could do combos all day. So these decks were out all, all month of July. And I probably will keep them out again in August. Clarity, secret. Let's see show you what I'm working with. Eight of Swords. Clarity. You need clarity. Mental clarity. It's clouded up with so much anxiety and saddled with so much worry. But what you need is clarity. And then anxiety, what? Surrounding a secret? Something coming out? And you're afraid of what may come about? This is such a beautiful Eight of Swords depiction, too. Um, you can see the house on the hill in the background. Um, water. Very much Rider Waite Smith inspired or inspired, you know, bound by rope, blindfolded. Dark skies. I just recently did an Eight or a Swords uh, workshop series over on my Kofi, and you can if you want to learn more about the swords we dive into swords symbolism and 
it's really cool and it's just you know really helps you to appreciate all of what's coming through on the car it's whether it doesn't matter really what deck you use if it's inspired by the Rider Waite Smith system the themes will be consistent the symbols will be you know you'll see similar or the same from clone to clone you know deck to deck so if you're interested, I have now learned the cups, learned the wands, and now I just recently in July recorded Learn the Swords. And we have one of my members and I had a great time working with it, uh, working with the, the PDFs I created. I made it like an image glossary <laughs> for the symbolism, numerology focused on uh, the swords like aces or ones through the kings and a spread and all sorts of ways of just really grounding your understanding and also new ways of thinking about the swords too we talked about that and we practice using the spread so it's a whole video series that you can access um, on my Kofi shop I'll put a link there but I'm a huge fan of the swords so there's that I'm a little biased. I'm an air sign, Aquarius. So, anywho, I just really love this combination, this deck combination. So, to that end, I'd love to know what deck combinations were you loving on in the month of July or whenever you watch this video. I'm always curious to know what decks have you been really loving and working with and studying and connecting with? What other items in your um collection you know i shared with you some random goodies what are some random goodies that you were working with i'd love to hear from you all what did you think about this combo that i just shared with you today and the other you know the other oracle deck that i mentioned i'd love to hear from you in the comments section down below all right friends do me a favor on your way out please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you all around in the next one. Bye for now.